Good morning, everyone, uh, and welcome to the first Sunday of Lent, also known as Ash Wednesday. Um, so we have gathered together on this journey as we journey with Jesus towards the cross. It is a 40-day journey. It is one we don't rush through. Um, so I invite you to take your time, uh, to take time through this journey, to pause and reflect and to actually be on this journey with Jesus and with others, as we are always on a journey together and we are always surrounded by other people. So friends, with that, let us come together for our time of reflection on this morning. To start, I'm going to read a blessing for Ash Wednesday. So I invite you, if you want to, to close your eyes or to sit in stillness or kind of fix how you're sitting so that you can kind of just sit and listen. God, today my finitude is rubbed on my forehead. The reality of my limits, my fragile body, spoken over me like a curse. From dust I was made, to dust I will return. Some days I need to be reminded that I am not the perfect ability project I set out to be. I am full of bounce and brimming with hope, all woes solvable, all problems a distant whisper. When I don't feel like dust, bless me, O oh God, in the ways I trick myself into believing that my life is something I've made that all my accomplishments and successes and mastered mornings add up to something independent of you. But on days like today, when my head hangs low, sunk with the grief of neediness, bless me, O oh God. When my joints don't work like they should, when I grow sick or turn gray too soon, when my body betrays me, or perhaps it is doing exactly what it is, it is supposed to do. Tell me again exactly how you made me, from dust to dust. Blessed are we a mess of contradictions in our delusions and deep hopes, in our fragility and finitude. I'm going to read from Psalm 51. Listen for God's words to us this day. Have mercy on me, God, according to your faithful love. Wipe away my wrongdoings according to your great compassion. Wash me completely clean of my guilt. Purify me from my sin. Because I know my wrongdoings, my sin is always right in front of me. I sinned against you, you alone. I've committed evil in your sight. That's why you are justified when you render your verdict completely correct when you issue your judgment. Yes, I was born in guilt, in sin, from the moment my mother conceived me. And yes, you want truth in the most hidden places. You teach me wisdom in the most secret space. Purify me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and celebration again. Let the bones you crushed rejoice once more. Hide your face from my sins. Wipe away my guilty deeds. Create a clean heart for me, God. Put a new faithful spirit deep inside me. Please don't throw me out of your presence. Please don't take your Holy Spirit away from me. Return the joy of your salvation to me and sustain me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach wrongdoings your ways and sinners will come back to you. Deliver me from violence, God, God of my salvation, so that my tongue can sing of your righteousness. 
Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. You don't want sacrifices. If I gave an entirely burnt offering, you wouldn't be pleased. A broken spirit is my sacrifice, God. You won't despise a heart, God, that is broken and crushed. Friends, these are the words of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So my invitation to you today is to check in today. Are you feeling more durable or more fragile? Do you need to be reminded of your durability and your fragility? So friends, a blessing on this Ash Wednesday, just a reminder for those that are here in Stonehaven, we will have our pancake supper at St. Bridget's at 5.30 and you are more than welcome to come. And then we will journey over to St. James for their Ash Wednesday service, which begins at 7 p.m. And there you'll be marked with the sign of the cross on your forehead as we begin this journey. So blessings on this Ash Wednesday and on the season of Lent. And I will see you all soon and I will be on here tomorrow morning. Peace and blessings.